what's going on this is david whitney with alpha hawk fitness all right guys made a couple videos in the past about faster cardio but i recently read a new study that shed some new light on this subject and i figure a lot of people aren't going deep into their old videos and plus this still is a popular topic that comes up a lot so first i want to cover some of the stuff we talked about before and then i'm going to talk about what this study says about the type of fat that we burn during faster cardio all right so first of all Let's just take a common sense approach to this. All right, when we do faster cardio, yeah, it's true. We do burn the majority of the calories from fat as opposed to doing fed cardio. But here's the thing, and this is something I talk about all the time. Losing weight, burning fat, isn't about just what you do in the gym. It's about what you do over the course of the entire day. It's all about, it all comes down to being in a caloric deficit. It all comes down to burning more calories than you consume. So let's take two hypothetical people, one doing faster cardio, one doing fed cardio, and let's look at what happens. All right, let's say both of these guys burn 2,500 calories a day. So in order to be in a caloric deficit and lose one pound of fat a week, they adjust their calories and they eat 2,000 calories a day. That's 500 calories a day, a 500 calorie a day deficit, and that'll add up to 3,500 calories a week, and 3,500 calories equals one pound of fat. Okay, so let's say hypothetical guy number one wakes up early in the morning, and before he eats his breakfast, he does an hour of fasted cardio. Now it's true, the majority of the calories he burns will be from fat, <clears throat> excuse me, will be from fat. Now after his cardio, is when he's gonna start eating and over the course of the rest of the day he's gonna eat 2,000 calories. At the end of the day he burned a total of 2,500 calories and he ate a total of 2,000 calories. So he's gonna have a net fat loss of around 500 calories. Now let's take guy number two. He does his cardio whenever he feels like it. He wakes up, he eats his breakfast and then like an hour after that he does his cardio. Now let's say he eats 1,000 calories for breakfast. So when he does his cardio, the majority of the calories he's burning will come from the food he ate. Does that mean that guy number one has an advantage when it comes to fat loss? Well, let's take a look at what happens over the course of the day, the rest of the day. Guy number two, now after he does his cardio, guy, remember guy number one, after he did his cardio, ate 2,000 calories over the uh, course of the rest of the day. Guy number two, after he does his cardio, already had a thousand calories before he did his cardio, so over the rest, the course of the rest of the day, he's only gonna eat 1,500 calories. So while it's true that he's not gonna burn as much fat during his cardio, he's gonna burn more fat over the course of the day. Because at the end of the day, they both burn 2,500 calories and they both eat 2,000 calories. So at the end of the day, they both have a net fat loss of around 500 calories. Okay, that's just a common sense aspect of it. Now there, I hope this makes sense too. Now there is one situation where I, I thought that possibly faster cardio could be advantageous. And that's if somebody was in a lean bulk, a very lean bulk. And let me explain why. I'm gonna try to make this easy to follow my thoughts here on this. All right, let's say we take the same guy, guy number one. Remember, he burns 2,500 calories a day. Now let's say he wants to add some muscle. Well. The process of building muscle needs energy. You need to supply calories to, to um, have energy for this process. So that could be like around 250 calories a day. So let's say, because here's the thing, if he eats 2,500 calories a day, his weight will maintain at the same, he'll stay the same weight. If he adds a couple hundred calories to that, he'll have enough energy to start synthesizing new muscle. So let's say he wants to gain some muscle so he adjusts his calories to eat 2,750 calories a day. Now, this is where I was thinking faster cardio could come into play. Let's say he wakes up early in the morning before he eats his breakfast and he burns off 250 calories. Now that 250 calories would come from fat. So now he burned fat in the morning and then he adds in extra 250 calories during the day. Now instead of that 250 calories going to back into those fat stores, his body would use those 250 calories to build muscle. So all the calories he's eating would be used during the day. He would be building more muscle and in the same day he would also be burning fat. Now that's what I was thinking and that's why I thought that 
faster cardio could come into play during a very lean bulk. Well, here's the problem. This new study sheds light on the exact type of fat that we're burning during faster cardio, and it shows why even this scenario really doesn't make sense. You see, the fat we burn during faster cardio isn't subcutaneous fat, the fat that's under our skin, the fat that that we see when we look at our appearance, the fat that we want to burn to make our physiques look better. It's, it actually comes from intramuscular fat. So this makes no difference body composition appearance wise so when you do faster cardio it's it, 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 look i'm gonna link the study in the description i hope i made this so you know easy to follow and easy to understand but it really makes no difference whether you're in a lean bulk or you're in a caloric deficit if you're in a caloric deficit it all comes down to how big your deficit is that's how much calories you're going to be burning and that's how much fat you're going to end up losing if you're in a surplus and you're burning fat in the morning through faster cardio, it's still not the fat that you really, is, that's gonna have an effect on your appearance. So either way, it just doesn't matter. All right, guys, I wanna keep this video short. Check out the um, study in the description if you want. Listen, make sure you like and subscribe. I appreciate all the feedback, all the likes, all the new subscribers. Stay tuned for future videos and check out the past videos. All right, until next time.